Cyclone value has intensified substantially overnight at local time. At 7.30 local time this morning, Indian Standard Time is June the 12th, it's got winds of 110 miles per hour and a pressure of 949 millibars according to Force 13's latest satellite estimates. Uh, the GFS model thinks Vayu won't make landfall until Monday now. If that does happen, it will be a CDPS Stage 6 on our projections, which will be a catastrophic landfall. Even if it did it earlier than then, uh, which is also quite possible, we anticipate it would be of a similar intensity. It's at 18 degrees north, 70.2 degrees east, a very severe cyclonic storm on the Indian scale. And it's 193 miles from Mumbai, pretty much its closest pass to the city right now. 281 from Surat, 302 from Rajkot and 359 from Badodara, 518 from Karachi in Pakistan. All of the yellow areas show tropical storm conditions possible in the next 48 hours as the system continues to push towards the north-northwest. It has been moving a bit further towards the northwest in the last few hours, which could be pushing its potential track a little bit further towards the west. This is one of the latest GFS model runs, where we take the storm towards the northwest by the looks of things grazing the coast of Gujarat there, and then uh, just hanging along the coast really in the far northwestern part of India along the border with Pakistan. Um, this is just one model scenario it is a very unpredictable situation at the minute. Several models are taking it in all different directions and indeed the GFS is sort of caught in the middle with the system stalling right on the coast for over two days and then moving inland. That could deliver over 700 millimeters of rain if that was to occur. Temperatures right now uh, this morning as we look at it, 30 degrees generally at sea, very warm, certainly warm enough to sustain a significant cyclone like this and even warmer inland. So looking at the wind now, over the next few days, any yellow areas that you see are hurricane force winds. You can see the green start to reach land by Thursday, Friday, and then you get to see a little bit of yellow creeping in there as well. That's hurricane force winds possible in those areas as we enter the weekend, and then eventually it makes its landfall according to the GFS with winds of around 85 miles per hour, which is uh, well over 120 kilometers per hour, more than 130 I think and then eventually moving inland towards the northeast. That might not happen. There is a small outside chance that this system could still track all the way west to Oman. 35% chance of tropical storm force winds in Mumbai. That's probably the highest it will get to. 15% in Surat, 30% in Rajkot, 5% in Karachi, and 10% at Mazira Island in Oman. Higher chance of an Oman tropical storm impact than in Pakistan, believe it or not. This is what the models are saying. The HWRF wanted Category 4 earlier, um, but general consensus now is probably for a minimum Category 3, but could get stronger than that. Wind shear is still moderate. Sea surface temperatures are very warm and won't be cooling down anytime soon, but you can see that model split there between the GFS, CDCX, and HWRF, the examples on that board on the left-hand side, going in all different directions. This is what's actually been happening then, which when in unpredictable situations like this is probably the best we can really do to give you an actual clear look at what's actually going on. Movement towards the northwest, so it looks like Mumbai and the area around there will be spared. You may not even see huge effects from this storm because you can see the lion's share of the rainfall is still remaining just off the coast and that will continue by the looks of things over the next few hours. Water vapor there as well. A massive dry slot to the northwest will bring this storm crashing down eventually. It's a matter of when. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>